Hello, Kalina Gip is here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make realistic looking bark. Firstly, you need to choose material to work with. In my case, it's air dry clay. I mix it with some water and PVA glue, so it would be stronger. I let it soak for some time. Then I grabbed the surface which would have the texture. It's a piece of cardboard, so before starting to apply the clay, I coated it with a layer of PVA glue. Then I started to apply the clay. I smoothed the surface with my fingers. It's ok for the surface not to be so smooth, because the bark texture we need is not that perfect. By the way, I strongly recommend you to use a piece of bark for the reference. You can touch it and feel the texture. But if you have not any, just find a picture of the tree with the bark you would like to make. Let's start to make the texture. Firstly, I drew the guidelines using a toothpick or any other pointy object. Don't forget to remove clay pieces from the, your instrument from the instrument so the work would look cleaner. Secondly, I smoothed the lines with a wet brush. On the third step, more details were added. The old O or nail would come in handy for this. I drew some lines to imitate the texture of the bark. I decided to add a spot where a branch used to be. The bark around this place is slightly curved. For the next step, you will need a stiff brush. Using stepping motions, I added more texture. And lastly, I grabbed a toothpick again. I went through the lines with a little more pressure. With a giant needle, I added the finest texture on the branch spot.
Uh, I had to drive for a few hours. Also, I tried to clean the surface during sculpting. There are some unwanted sharp clay pieces left. So it needs to be sanded. Please wear the protective mask and gloves during sanding. I started with 600 grit sandpaper. Then I wiped away the dust. And finally, I sanded it using a piece of 1000 grit sandpaper. Ah, it's time to admit the colors for the bark. For the base layer, I made a mix of black and raw umber acrylic paint. I tried to paint all curvances and creases because every white spot would be obvious. Try to look at the surface from different angles. However, it's not bad if some unpainted spots are left left because you can hide it under the second coat of paint. I mixed acrylic paints, raw umber, grey, lemon and green. I compared the mixture with the reference. Not bad. I wiped off the excess paint and started to apply the second coat. Here I took a flat brush to make kind of dry brush. I tried to coat every white spot. It's time to add more color. I mixed up grey, burnt sienna and a little bit of raw umber acrylic paint. This piece of tree bark has layers. The external layer is dark brown and the internal layer is reddish. If you cut off the top layer, you would see the reddish one. So I tried to paint some spots with the inner bark. The same goes to the spot when the branch used to be. I added some yellow and grey to the mixture to make some depth. I applied the new color, but it stained out too much, so while it was wet, I wiped it with the dry brush. I dry brushed the surface again. I mixed grey, a little amount of raw umber, and uh, some yellow acrylic paint for the very fine dry brushing. I applied a very little amount of paint with a very soft dry. It's time to add more fun details such as lichen. I mix the same green, yellow and grey acrylic paints. Then I took a sponge, wiped off the excess paint. I used the stippling motions to give it a lichen like texture. Here, all over 
towards the tree. For the yellowish one, I mixed yellow, a little bit of reddish powder we made before, and grey. I added too much paint, so I wiped it off with a clean side of the sponge. Here we go! I sprayed it with fixative and it's done! Thank you for watching! The old old oh, oh.